question number 33. A square loop of wire of width w is pulled at a constant velocity v through a magnetic field of width 2w. Okay, this is width w and that is 2w over here. And then what has been asked? It's been asked uh, which of the following shows the variation of the current i in the loop with time t. So, what is the variation? Let us look at the graphs. The graphs are shown over here. Okay. Now, now let me take that this moves until here. It moves until here. Okay. When it moved over here, what has happened over here? Magnetic field is constant. Why should there be an induced current over here? Okay. Induced current is there because uh, there is a change in the magnetic flux. How? If you ask me this question, we know that phi is equal to b into a, right? b into a, b into a cos theta, when a th theta here is b, 0 degrees, okay, because the aerial vector and the magnetic field are parallel to each other. So, therefore, it is b into a, okay, and then we have phi equal to b into a, and then we have, what is b, b is constant, area. Now, in a time t, what I need? I need delta phi. What is delta phi? b is not changing, I want only changing delta a. How does changing delta a comes in? See, if this is the length, okay, now the new position after the time t, this is a new position of the coil, okay, it is like this over here. It is moved by a distance delta x. If you ask me what is the change in area, change in area is nothing but this area, right. This was your initial area, this is your final area, right, this is your area A2, this is your area A1. Now, what is the change in the area, okay, which has been intercepted is nothing but a this delta x multiplied by this length, okay, this area of the rectangle. So, I can now write this as b into delta x into L is nothing but change in area. Now, if I say what is delta phi divided by delta t, which will be b into delta x into L divided by delta t, which will now be equal to blv over here. Okay. Now, let us understand what is happening here. When this one starts moving, the delta x keeps on increasing uniformly, right. When it keeps on increasing uniformly, it means velocity is constant, length is constant, b is constant, which means your EMF is also constant, which means you are getting a constant EMF, b l into v, okay. So, when your EMF is constant, E divided by R, which is your current, induced current will also be a constant. So, let us look at which of these graphs shows you the constant. This graph shows you the constant, this also shows you the constant, this shows you constant, this is not constant, right, I is increasing here. So, this is not the right answer, okay. Now, let us look amongst these two. Now, when the when the coil has already entered here, when the coil, coil has already entered over here, until here, is there a change in area after this as it keeps on going here? Let us say it has come here, it has come here, it has come over here. Is there a change in the flux? There is no change in the flux, right? So, it is the same. So, therefore, in this region, there is no change in the flux, which means for a given set of region, there is no change in the flux. Now, let us use that. That means, uh, when there is no change in the flux, uh, this delta phi by delta t is 0, e is 0, i is 0, okay. That means, current is not always present, but it has been present for some time and absent for some time, right. So, therefore, here you see current is present over here and suddenly current reverses, but the current is never becoming 0 here, right. So, therefore, this is incorrect. Now, what about the second one? So, say now we have B and C, which one to decide? Now, in B, now when we go here, now it is exiting the loop until here the same condition will persist, right, until here the same condition will persist. The moment it comes over here, it comes over here, it comes over here. Now, what will happen, okay? So, the magnetic field is now reducing, the flux inside is reducing. So, therefore, the current should, should play in the, should, should uh, flow in the opposite direction. Current should flow in the opposite direction when the loop is exiting. So, therefore, this is also not the right answer because current is in the same direction. So, C is the right answer, okay? Let us move on to the next question.